today I'm going to show you some pieces I've collected over the last few months. They recently came out with the uh, color espresso and I'm a big fan of anything brown. So first up I got the um, the hardy hot shorts in espresso. I ordered the high rise version, 4 inch length. I am um, 5 foot 7 for reference, so I'm taller than average. These are really lightweight. On me, these are not really high rise because I have a long torso. But I love the color. They're really comfortable, they fit well. And um, I just don't know if they flatter my body so much. I think I prefer other kinds of shorts and skirts. Focus. So these are brand new and um, they were 68 Canadian dollars. I'm, not, I'm just not too sure if I want to keep them yet. In the try-on I was pairing the Hotty Hot shorts with the ripped swim top in peach fuzz. I actually got this to wear as a bra because I, I only wear sports bras and bralettes because I hate wired bras. And this has a very flattering neckline. I love the sweetheart neckline on this. I will also wear this to the beach, but I didn't get the bottoms because I didn't want to spend $80 for just a bikini bottom. For, I don't really care, to be honest. I have two older bikini bottoms that I always just mix and match with my tops. But yeah, I really like this. It's, it's ripped. I got it in a size 6. It fits really well and has a little strappy detail in the back and I got this on sale for $39 before it sold out unfortunately and I liked it so much that I had that I had to get the uh, the same top in black too and you can just wear this with anything like with dresses and any summer top and I really love this bikini top I will wear it as a bikini top and a and as a bra. I think it's just very flattering. It's also a size 6 but this I had to pay full price for because it sold out. I was pretty sure I wouldn't get it on sale in my size and I really just love it and for this also I didn't get the bikini bottom because I don't care. In the try on I also wore the Swiftly short sleeve and this is the color magenta purple and um, I got this on sale in store for 49 $49. It's also a size 6. It's very comfortable. It's my go-to. I have this in black too. Um, I always wear this for for any of my gym workouts or if I run outside. The Swiftleys are really really nice. Um, and what I especially like about them that they don't have a dropped shoulder. Because you can see the seam is over here. And I hate that today's t-shirts and Crew necks always have the seam over here. I think it makes you look like wider than you are. But yeah, I have this in magenta purple and I also have this in black. And then I thrifted a different kind of pink a while back too. Okay, and then I got a another item in espresso. This I, These I haven't worn yet either. Um, these are the Wanna Train High Rise Short 6 inch with pockets because I like to wear these on my runs and I have and I like to use the pockets for my phone. And um, yeah, these are a size 6. They fit really nice and they have the logo on the leg here. I have an older pair of Wonder Train shorts in black with no pockets. What is new with these, they have a back pocket here. Yeah. My old ones don't have that. And also, um, the leg opening is much more comfortable now. These are not the contour fit, but still these uh, don't squeeze my legs at all. They are very comfortable actually and I love the color in the try-on. I'm also comparing this to the Java Define jacket I'm wearing right now. So you can see the color comparison. Yeah, I really like the color and I'm definitely keeping these. 
Next we have the soft stream shorts. I really am in love with these. I love the soft stream material. It is so soft and nice. You just always want to touch your legs if you wear them. And yeah, these are a size 4 in white opal. Uh, white opal isn't available anymore, but you could get bone and a few different other colors if you're interested in these. These were $78 Canadian. And these barely go on sale, I feel like, because they are always sold out in the most popular sizes. And in the try-on, I'm actually pairing these with the Align tank top in white opal also size 4. I usually wear dark colors but those are just two items that I really wanted to have in a nice white opal. For me personally I don't wear I don't like to wear white. Uh, if I do wear um, a color like this it has to be an off-white. So because I love those shorts so much when they came out with them I ordered them in two colors. I ordered them in black too. These are also soft stream high rise shorts, 4 inch length and size 4. They fit really well, they are very comfortable and sometimes when I wear them outside it feels like they, they ride up on my legs but they actually don't. I've been wanting the pant version of these for a really long time but I'm a little hesitant to buy them because they're a little steep. In price and also I wouldn't know exactly when to wear them but I just really like the soft stream I think the seams in the back are really flattering and the material is nice I've washed these a few times on a delicate cycle and hung them to dry and they came out perfectly every time so I don't have any problems with stains or with washing them in general. In the try-on I was pairing the uh, black soft stream shorts with the Align tank in prom prom grenade, whatever you... I am probably pronouncing that wrong but it's a beautiful color. It's pretty similar to um, magenta purple. It's just a little... I think on camera it looks exactly the same but I prefer this one actually a little bit more. It's, it's a little less blue and a more red kind of pink. But um, yeah, I love it. I wear these things as bras during fall and winter a lot because it covers up a, lot, a little bit more of my body and then I feel warmer. I just wear these things as bras. And then also I got the um, Pace Rival skirt in black. This is the long version. Since I'm five foot seven, the short skirts are would be really really short on me, so I always go with a long version. Um, this is an older model, but they have the shorts inside, a back pocket, and now they are I believe seventy eight dollars. They increased the price for these. But when I bought it, I it was still $68. These, just so you know, these skirts are often to be found on Facebook Marketplace and thrift stores or consignment stores. So if you really wanted this skirt, I would look it up first on, on a secondhand website or in a store. Yeah, but I like it. It's comfortable. It's nice and flowy and casual. And it's a mid-rise, so I, I feel it's more comfortable than a high-rise. Sometimes I really don't feel like wearing anything high-rise. And then if you pair the um, Align waist length tank with this, it kind of looks like the Align dress they came out with. I got it in black, also size 4. When I bought it, it was on sale for $34 and I waited a long time for them to reduce the price because I didn't want to pay $68 for this. But it's available in a few colors and a few sizes still on the website. Last but not least, I wanted to include the Bliss Feel running shoes. I know they came out with these last year, but um, I just thought I would review them really quickly in this video too. I got size 9 and I feel like I could have gone with size 8.5 because they are a little roomier than I would like. At first, I liked them better than the shoes I had before, which was some kind of Nike running shoe. So I sold the Nikes and kept these. 
but after a few months um, I was using them for, for the gym and for running outside and after a few months I noticed that this lining in here um, started to started to rip and also they are heavier than I would like I have Hoka Clifton 8 and I prefer these um, over these ones the uh, soles of these um, make them that they're not slippery at all so uh, if you wanted to go for a hike these would be really nice um, they're not my favorite shoes though and I think I would probably not buy them again a few of the colors are on sale for 149 and I bought these for 198 yeah they're not they're not bad but I personally just prefer the um, the hooker running shoes and also in the try on I paired the uh, running shoes with my fast and freeze I thrifted these on Facebook marketplace I got them in a size 4. The Fast and Freeze are my favorite go-to leggings. I sold all of my other ones except for my Black Alliance because I always just wear Fast and Freeze, the, old, the older version, not the updated one. And they fit perfectly and I can stretch, I can run, I can lift in them, I, I just, they are perfect. 